Do you ever feel like you're constantly in fight or flight on the road to a breakdown because nothing ever seems to go as planned or your children are just having a day and the resistance and behavior are just a little extra. I cannot wait for you to join me in today's chat to open up your heart, tune into your awareness, release any built up expectations and accept the power of a pivot. I hope today's episode can be a relatable conversation and help you feel like a weight is lifted to know that it is okay to lead with how you want to feel, with what you need, and also with what your children and what your family needs by simply pivoting. Let's dive in. Hey mama, welcome to the Balanced Mom Method Podcast. I know you're here because you're tired of living day after day like you're drowning in the responsibilities of motherhood. You're done struggling with trying to find the time and energy to get it all done every day. And you want to show your little ones a good example, but you're so exhausted, which has your negative self-talk on repeat, your patience spread thin, and you feel like you're losing yourself a little more every day. Plus the mom guilt, societal comparison game, and unpredictabilities of motherhood just does not help in trying to make a change. Well, sweet friend, this podcast will guide you on how to connect with yourself to break free from that survival mode cycle all by identifying and possibly simplifying your habits. Hey, I'm Jenna, and I've been where you are. I was consumed in the struggles of motherhood, and I needed to make a change to take back control of my time, energy, identity, and life. And in finding that freedom, it became my mission to help make that connection with moms that we can give our children and families the best and not at the expense of our own health, self, and well-being. Moms shouldn't have to choose between their families, priorities, and themselves. We can balance it all, and it all starts within ourselves. Let me take your hand and make that connection with you and equip you with simple, lifelong habits. If you are ready to say goodbye to just surviving and finally reclaim your life and motherhood, then you are in the right place. Let's get to the root of cultivating real change because it's time to feel like you again. Warm up that cold coffee, pop in your earbuds, and tighten that top knot, mama. Let's overcome together. Hey, hey, beautiful mamas. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Before we jump into today's episode, I wanted to kick off our chat with some mamas empowering mamas and share a review. So Bartlett Mama writes, Jenna does an amazing job at being relatable and giving great advice for that tired, overwhelmed mama and making us feel that it's all okay that our feelings are normal. Amen to that. We need to feel our feelings, mamas. And all those feelings, like they're normal, they're justified, lean in. Step one of the Balanced Mom Method formula, my friends, right there. So thank you so much for being with me today and thank you Bartlett Mama for taking the time to share the podcast and I would be so appreciative if you listening would take an extra minute after this episode and leave the show an honest written review to be able to help another mom who may be searching for this podcast, the right podcast that she needs in this moment to help take them to that next step towards their breakthrough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So one more little thing before we dive into today's chat is if you are in the U S listening today, happy Memorial day, and hopefully a day off of work. And also a special someone is needing a shout out today. My mama, happy birthday to you. I love you so much. And I know that you listen every Monday morning to this show, to the newest episode of the Balanced Mom Method podcast and the support and the love, and let's be honest, the help that you give all the time through the phone, through Snapchat, through video chat, through when you come to physically visit, just the help that you give, it never goes unnoticed. It is so, so, so appreciated and you mean so much to me and my family. Happy birthday, Nana. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, <laughs> dear Nana. Oh, that was so sweet. Jalen, do you want to say happy birthday? Mm-mm. Say love you, Nana. Love you, Nana. Bye. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's dive in. I hope today's chat, truly, I know I've said this <laughs> how many times, like the buildup, right? But I just want you to feel heard. And I hope this is well received for you to be able to feel empowered moving forward because we are talking about this buzzword that you may have heard me use or you might see floating around on social media. 
But I, I honestly, I have no idea. Maybe it's not a buzzword. <laughs> I don't know what a buzzword is. I actually just heard what like the, that term buzzword the other day and I, I liked it and I was like, ooh, <laughs> I, I sometimes live under a rock. So I don't even know if that word is like used or not. But we are talking about pivoting, the power of a pivot as a mom who probably has some form of expectation or schedule that she wants to follow and may rarely feel that she executes it like ever, and feels maybe that a pivot is some form of failure because then you just feel like you can't ever follow through on what you anticipated, or you might just feel guilty or resentful or just not good enough, right? Because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm always like, you know, scrambling or like figuring out what's going to happen because we're, you know, it's not following through with what I thought was going to be our day or our schedule or whatever it is. So can you relate to that? Like, Woofta, guys. I we could all, I'm sure, relate to that at some point in time, right? Like that's daily, <laughs> I feel like, in the life of motherhood, parenthood. So how are you? Like really? If I asked you today, how do you feel today? How do you feel right now? What would your initial gut res- gut response be? If you woke up like instantly anxious, overwhelmed, stressed, on the verge of tears, or maybe you're already deep into burnout, not knowing where to start, where to start crawling yourself out, a pivot might be needed. So pivots need to happen in life and in motherhood, just in in general, right? And honestly, like probably more often than we might like or than like we might like think, right? So I want to break down a few different ways to pivot one being to lead with how, how you want to feel with what you need, with what your children needs or your family needs getting rid of like societal expectations and a pivot, you know, take a pivot to make that happen. And then the other being you're pivoting in your day because that synergy between you and your kids or you and your spouse or you and your family or you and your day as a whole is just not there. (laughs) And a change, a change up, a change of scenery, it just needs to happen. Like basically that second example is like when things are hitting the fan, right? And you just need that change of scenery, something different to just break up the day. That even, that second example even reverts back to the first one anyhow, right? Because you're leaning into what you or your children or your family needs because obviously that synergy isn't there. There's tension, there's meltdowns, there's overstimulation. So something needs a change up and that is where we pivot. So pivoting as a whole, it's not a bad thing. And I feel like it might get this bad stigma, you know, because that's when those limiting beliefs or those fears of failure or that you're not good enough come in. But that's not true. You're just leaning in and kind of going with the flow in a sense. So pivoting as a whole is the need to release expectations around what things quote unquote should look like. Those can be expectations from you, from a family member, maybe from from your children, from society, from the world, from social media, like insert that there, right? Any sort of expectation, release that expectation and do what you need, do what your family needs, do what your children need in this moment. It's not like throwing your hands in the air and saying F it, right? It's just a realization. It's acknowledgement. It's step one of the balanced mom at the formula. You're, you're identifying. It's a shift that you're making. So you might be sitting here thinking like, okay, that's easier said than done, Jenna, like get to, you know, some tangible meat here. But I challenge you to think with me for a second. What if you leaned in to this power of the pivot and accepted it versus staying resistant to it because of that perfectionist fighting for your identity, that limiting belief, that comparison, that fear of judgment lingering in the back of your mind because you feel you'd fail another day because things didn't go as planned once again. But by golly, like release those expectations. We are so hard on ourselves as moms sometimes. Release those expectations. My job is to help you reconnect to you, to help you wake up. Wake up to life. Wake up to your feelings. Wake up to your presence. Wake up to that connection with your children. To reconnect to your mind, to yourself, but also to your habits and your routine and your health that work for you in your life to help you stay connected to you as a whole, to your life as a whole and loving it every step of the way. Not saying, I'm like shaking my fingers right now, not saying that life isn't going to be hard and that you're not going to be, you know, thrown curveballs and change up of seasons. Like that's what a pivot is, right? But it's leaning into that hard, allowing yourself to feel it and be in the thick of it, but still know 
that you're going to come out of it and still have that, that mindset. Remember, like we think differently here in the balanced mom method, right? We think differently to where we know life will be hard, but we are still showing up with great, a grateful heart. We are still finding joy in our days, right? It's that complete change of perspective that I feel that we are just going through this autopilot, just mom be, you know, life that we're not waking up to the beauty of the life that we have in the here and now. So let's give a definition of a pivot in action. I have a couple here. So first we wake up, we, you know, we have this intention. We go to bed at night. We're going to wake up early for our morning mindset routine, have that you time and you do it. You wake up early for that morning mindset routine. You're eager for that time that you you've created, you've set aside and something happens. Your children wake up also early with you. That's probably the most common, right? They just, they sense that you're up and they wake up too. Maybe a spouse gets up early and they need something from you or your dogs won't stop barking or they're just, you know, being extra in the morning and you wanted that time to yourself. You get an unanticipated text or email, like the list can go on, right? And there is when a pivot might be needed. That release of expectation that you had and then a pivot, right? Maybe you do your morning devotion with your children. So you're being able to like show them that example. This is what mommy does in the morning. I pray, I meditate, I journal and include them. It's not going to look the same, but you could do that. Or if your kids get up early too, you could work out with them. Just change up your routine a little bit. Put, put the workout in the early morning if that's not something you normally do. Or if your you know, spouse gets up, just relay that to them. Okay, I could help you with this, but can I, I need to do this first. Like this is my set time in the morning. Or if I'm thinking of what other example did I give the, your animals being a little extra, right? Or um, you could maybe take them outside and like take a fiver outside just to like breathe in some fresh air right away to reset. And maybe who knows, they just had to go to the bathroom or sniff something, who knows. <laughs> but the other, you know, that unanticipated text or email, that one's hard. And that's when I say I'm still guilty of this, but try not to pick up your phone right away when you get up, okay? So that list, you know, those pivots, it, it might not be, you know, the solution that I just gave you. You might have something else. You might find a different solution for yourself, but it's figuring out that pivot for you to just go with the flow and maybe let go a little bit, all right? Another example, you had such a fun day planned with your kids and you all have to be out the door at a certain time in the morning. And then the breakfast you made wasn't the one they wanted. The cat drug poop all over the kitchen floor because it was stuck in her tail no joke, that is a true story in this household. Oh my gosh, I will never forget that morning. <laughs> a sibling maybe looked at them, you know, looked at the other sibling wrong, which created a complete meltdown and fight. Or just the resistance to the, the flow that you were anticipating, right? Through the routine of the morning that you do every morning and it just wasn't happening for your kids this morning. A pivot is needed. And I know like this example might be a little harder because you have to get out the door at a certain time. So this maybe is more of a mental pivot, right? Because this is when you want to yell. This is when you're losing your patience. This is when you have this expectation that it was going to be so perfect because you had the surprise for your kids and now they're quote unquote ruining it because things are just unraveling, right? So this can also be like a learning lesson. If your kids are little and you know that they're unpredictable with their morning routines, then maybe you ha you'll learn for next time, right? So that pivot could be a mental mindset one. Or if it was a surprise, maybe tell them. Or, you know, I, I personally, I do not try to, oh gosh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, threaten, threaten. You know, like if you aren't going to get out the door by now, we're not going to leave or whatever it might be. Like I've definitely like been sterner in my threatens <laughs> because it happens, right? So what I try to do is give them like an if this, then that, right? Is that like the saying? Like if you brush your teeth now, we can go to your surprise or give them a choice. Do you want to brush your teeth first or get dressed first, right? So like pivoting there to maybe change up your morning routine, do things out of order. So to give them a little bit of control too, all right? So needless to say, interruptions, they're endless, it's indefinite, like it's gonna happen. And the thing about life is that it's always gonna come up. There's always gonna be interruptions. There's always gonna be the 
loss of expectations or not being met of expectations or things aren't going to go as planned. So when it comes to creating a consistent flow, there's always going to be days where it's tough or it just doesn't happen. And more often than not, whatever a season of motherhood you might be in, it might be close to non-existent right now, right? So in these pivots, I want to share with you a few questions that you can ask yourself and or reflect on or journal on to create this, this pivot for you in your life, in your season to be able to move forward. Because the acknowledgement here, that step one of identify within the balanced mom method formula, identify first to then be able to pivot. So in those moments of pivoting, when you just intuitively feel that you need to lead with maybe yourself or something that you need or something that you just feel that your kids need or you're just out of connection with them, simply ask, what does Jenna need today? Or my son's name, what does Jace need today? Okay, I'm going to use me as an example though. So what does Jenna need today? Maybe she needs rest. Rest can mean going to bed earlier or a change in sleep routine overall, asking for help with something or simply just having that change in flow that allows you to reset and recharge, doing something that will help you reset and recharge. Or maybe, maybe she needs a disconnect. What are some things that you can do to turn off your mind, slow your thoughts down, or just take a second to be? Maybe she needs community. I am very much wishy-washy with my love and dislike relationship with social media, but coming out of a pandemic, I, I have seen just a power for virtual community connection. And I've spent the last year building my own online community called the Motherhood Empowerment Community. So if you need just a sisterhood of, of moms to be able to just come to, invent to, or ask questions, or just feel that you have a safe space, check the link in the show notes and join our motherhood empowerment community. Always a safe space. And maybe she needs an adventure. She needs a hike. She needs a walk. She needs to go to the park or just do something different today. Or maybe she just needs a new boundary. Like I could go on, right? So do you get that point though? Like to take that step back and just ask yourself, what do I need? What does my child need? If they had a really hard day yesterday with big emotions, what do they need? What does my husband, what does my spouse, my significant significant other need? I think that taking this time each day or if you just maybe after the hard days to reflect on what you need and why it's helpful in helping you identify what your pivots can look like can be really beneficial. And in terms of the you know what hitting the fan, Maybe a pivot can simply be made by like releasing that expectation of whatever it is that you felt needed to be done or that needed to be, um, you, that you or your kids needed to be doing. And then leaning into how you now feel that can help alleviate this situation, bring on better moods, help reconnect to a child that had a huge breakdown, right? So maybe it's changing the scenery and getting outside. Maybe it's throwing the kids in the tub with a popsicle. Or, you know, the, the tub paint. I, I do not like the tub paint, but I've heard great stories but with it. It just, I feel like it just sticks to the tub and I can never clean it out. I'm a popsicle girl in the tub. Popsicle mama for the tub. For a win. Bomb pops all day. <laughs> Maybe it's an extra snack and a movie kind of day. Just for you to reset. The kids, obviously, they just want that connection time with you. Maybe it's having a special time, right? Having that special time and reconnecting with your children. So a couple of journaling prompts too for you, if you're struggling with the letting go and allowing yourself to pivot, I have 10 quick questions, just quick little short journaling prompts, or you could just think on these, but you could pause me, write these down, come back to this episode. So save this episode. I don't know if you could save it or start it, but just write down episode 35 to be able to come back to and write down these journaling prompts for you. Okay. So number one is if I can't do blank, then I can do blank. Number two, if I could repeat today, what would I have done differently? Three, what are some of my expectations? Are they realistic? Four, what are some of my family's or spouse's expectations? Are they realistic? Five, what do I need to pay more attention to? Six, is this interruption or pivot reoccurring? Seven, if this can't be avoided, what expectations can I release? Eight, what do I have control of? Nine, 
what isn't in my control. 10. If I can't do this habit now, where else can I fit it into my day? Now, I know those are very broad and like big umbrella. You know, you have to kind of plug in the season of the of your life, the, the day that you were having. But if you and I are working one-on-one or if you are working within my group coaching, we really dive into these and I know exactly where you are in your life now. So we could really get to like specific more specific questions like this. But these prompts, they're awesome because they allow you to just open up your mind and just release, okay? When you allow yourself to listen to yourself, amazing things happen. And next time you find yourself struggling with an expectation or struggling with resistance in your day or routine, feelings like you have this intuitive nudge to lead with how you want to feel or just you have this intuitive nudge of something, right? You could listen to that. And you could also come back to these prompts and see if any of these questions can help you move through to simply pivot. All right. Thank you again so much for being with me today in this moment. I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this episode, enjoyed this show as a whole, please leave a rating or a written review. I would be so appreciative. It just takes a couple minutes of your time and results in an my infinite gratitude and serves as such a valuable asset to this podcast as a whole. Okay. Share it on your socials, share it with a friend. Let's get this show in front of as many moms as possible to be able to help us all wake up from autopilot to actually live our lives until next week. Mamas, as always, simply be you. You have everything inside of you to reach your breakthrough. I'm sending my love and light. This episode very well worth a farming. Please we mama rep you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me on the Balanced Mom Method Podcast. I pray this episode has grown and helped you in some way. If it has, I'd be so grateful if you left a review sharing how it's impacted you. It truly lights me up hearing you're on your way to your breakthrough. And then please share this episode with another mom who may be struggling to remind her we are never alone. And remember, There isn't ever a one-size-fits-all to overcoming our personal hardships, but there are a lot of parallels with how we show up to our lives and common habits we can make our own to live an intentional life full of peace, presence, confidence, clarity, and balance. Be sure to check the show notes for additional ways to connect with me, our mom community, and resources and courses for you to overcome your survival mode cycle once and for all with doable habits. Thank you. I appreciate all you are and all you do. Sending my love and light.